Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Don Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. So, uh, I got the dog to get the cryovator, so that's good. Um, hope you guys are doing this series as much as I am. Let's fast travel back to the red thing. The rocket, red rocket. Yes. Going to Concord. Oh boy. Now I'm pretty sure I can. Oh boy. So we're in there right Hey. How are you doing, buddy? Never mind, boy. Thank you. Hey.
this place is groovy. Whoa, 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 what is that? They don't sound good. Whoa, 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 whoa! Sorry, I'm pretty sure I can put a horn inside. Hey. Come here. Heads up. Wait, laser musket? Pick this.
Got it. If that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. God damn it. The world's changed so much. None of this makes sense. Maybe you all right? Listen, we need nope. your help. And then maybe we can help you, huh? What brought you out here? My son Sean's been kidnapped. He's not even a year old. That's messed up. I'm sorry. I know how this world can be. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Ghouls? What are ghouls? God damn wow. it. Wow. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Most uh, are just like you and me. Uh, that they look it. pretty messed up and live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. Maybe? The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. Nope. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But... Well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Oh. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. 
your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. Oh, I, I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Please, you need to listen to me. <sighs> nope. Minutemen? So now. Protect the people at a minute. Sure. Please, uh, go on. Nah, that ain't it. Sorry. So, maybe. Thanks. <sighs> nope. Let's hear it. Sturgis. Tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. Well... Uh-huh. This is crazy. Just... Get the suit. Minigun. I know. It can. Mm-hmm. Uh. I'll help if I can. But... Uh -huh. Look. Actually, I already grabbed... Excuse me. Like it or not, we're all... Careful, kid. Like it or not, we're all counting on you. Dog is just gonna be Yo. Up here. But we got somebody up here. Something's out. Why don't you get down here? Look at that currency coming up the boat. People can get past my boys. I give you that. Come on, I got places to be.
They did not expect that. Let's get back here. Take it easy, mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. Hi. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. I didn't do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends. The other men and men, the ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it, and I know your pain. Okay. I'm listening. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel... your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I... can't see him. Not clearly. But I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working from nothing. I need more. Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. Oh, Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our <coughs> new friend here? We need to keep he's moving. He's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sounds like you better Sanctuary get going to Diamond awaits. City. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place, Mama Murphy. Sanctuary. Well then. Well guys, that's gonna be the end of this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you next one. Stay there, Millie. Yeet.